Hey everyone, welcome along to the channel today. So today I am back out with the Mia 6x6 and I have got it clamped up on a Manthrotto super clamp. So the reason for today's video is one of the things I've been excited to try of this thing is it is a small wide angle pinhole camera. Um, so it's 20 mil focal. I think it gives a field of view of about 130 degrees. So it's quite a nice wide one. Now. I've done similar things like this before with my zero image at 25 mil, which is super, super wide. That's a large format camera as well. Um, so to try it with something a lot smaller, uh, six by six, it's gonna certainly be a lot better. Um, so today I've actually been waiting for a load of um, Pan Air film to come through because we've had some super sunny weather recently. And I've been pulling back a load of um, HB5 400 because it was just too much on the sunny days. Um, I've got my Pan F through for uh, my Pan F50 through now, and I've used my 400 up, and now it's all cloudy. <laughs> so I've taken a quick meter reading. I'm getting around uh, 15 second metered readings. Um, adding the reciprocity is about 35, maybe round up to about 40 second exposures. So they're quite long exposures for what I want. But I'm just going to clamp this thing up to my bike, uh, maybe have it in a mouth mount and stuff, and try and get a few shots of it and then um, see how well it does. Okay, so I've got the first one set up, just mounted on the frame there, looking through on the bottle. Uh, like I say, 40 second exposure, I'll double check that. Um, so I'm going to need to set a timer for that with an alarm, because I'll never count that in my head uh, correctly. Um, let's um, wait for a clear road and uh, get going. Right, I just took another quick meter reading, it's now giving me about a minute with the reciprocity, so let's um, go for a bit of a long cycle. Okay, second one, this is actually going to be a bit of a mission. I kind of just look, got it looking back into the wheel and stuff. But I'm going to have to cycle this one footed. Because um, I think I'm going to hit it otherwise. So give it a go, another minute. gonna roll try and keep my feet still Right, next one set up. Just on the bottom of the fork there. And kind of looking up, but more kind of at the frame of the bike, hopefully. So another minute, back up the road. Now 
admittedly, one minute long exposures aren't action camera, but should create some nice um, motion-y sort of shots of some um, quite in focus areas. So, one minute up. Next one, in a bit of an uncomfortable position, but another minute, let's go. Just going on a few. Almost had a head on with a van and I knocked the camera, but I think that was the very last second, so went on a few minutes longer there. Yeah, because the light's dropping quite a bit now. Um, so what's that for? Gonna try another couple. Okay, I've now got this one um, pointing down to the cassette and the gear change up. Um, because the light's dropping and it's pointing on quite a dark area, I've got about a four minute exposure. So I'm gonna hang around here for a little bit and go for a cycle at the same time in a bit. Just set this up to four minutes. Real action photography is long exposure photography. Who needs? two thousandths of a second when you can have four minutes. And I don't know what they're missing, all these action photographers. You know, I'm gonna wait around here for a bit, so I'm actually getting some light on it, and then um, plod down the road as well. I think that's shot five, then I'm gonna try one more, I think, and then with the rest of the film, I'm gonna um, head out my skateboard, I think. So that'll be another video though, so subscribe, so you don't miss that. Gotta be careful with my foot or I'm gonna hit it. Here's my four minute time up. Okay, for my last shot, I did want to do like a chesty mount one, but I don't have a chesty mount, so I've got a mouth mount. Now, this is going to be about a two minute exposure, I think, so, um, if I have it like this, I can't see, so I'm going to have it upside down. It's going to be shaking all over the place, but it might get a bit of a blurry look of my handles on the handlebar and stuff. I think I've got about a mile stretch here. So it should be should be about right hopefully. <clears throat> right, set up. wobbly so that is going to be one blurry mess but hopefully there's something recognizable out of it but see you in a minute and so yeah, make sure you join me next time on the skateboard uh, see what we get on that thanks for watching see you next time